Hey everybody, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener here and it's time to update you on my citrus trees grown from seed. So in my last update, I believe it was six months ago, I know, I was actually preparing the citrus trees to be overwintered in my outdoor greenhouse and surprisingly, they did just fine. We had four orange trees and two lemon trees. I'll be updating both of the series in this video and attaching both the lemon and the orange tree updates to those respective series. I'm also gonna be repotting my orange trees today because I think they're outgrowing their pots and it's just time to get them into some bigger pots, especially since the Texas sun is gonna be baking down on them for the next several months. That being said, let me flip the camera around and give you a look at my orange and lemon trees that I've grown from seed. So if you recall in the last video, we had one, two, three, four orange trees that I started from seed. And we actually had two lemon trees. Now one was unhealthy most of last year and the freeze actually killed him. But all of these have survived the freeze this year and I'm pretty excited about that. Sorry, my neighbor's doing some weed whacking, so if you can hear that in the background, hopefully it's not too annoying. I think what I'm gonna do today is kind of catch you up on what's happened, and then we'll get them repotted. I was surprised with all the freezing temperatures we had. We just had a little bit of leaf damage on a lot of these. Some of the higher ends got a little yellow and a little bit dried out from the frost, but they've recovered just fine. And I guess my question is for some of those citrus growers out there is some of these ends have not grown or rebroke their buds since we had the freeze damage to them. And I've noticed that other shoots have actually started to sprout in place of continued growth on the affected ends. So my question is, should I repot them and trim a little bit of the ends off to spur on some new growth. I'm a little bit unfamiliar with exactly the pruning. I know you should always prune off any dead or diseased branches, and I know that on young citrus trees, it's absolutely okay to prune them early and often as long as you're not pruning more than a third of the plant away. So, I'm gonna be thinking about what I wanna do on some of these. Like I said, some of these ends have not grown since the freeze bro uh, broke, and so I'm thinking if I trim them down a little bit, kind of sculpt them, it might do a lot better. You guys let me know in the comments down below. I think we'll save any trimming for next episode. I think today what we'll do is now these guys are 23 months old. 23 months old on the orange and lemon trees. Then they're gonna hit two years next month. And when I do my next update, based on your comments down below and the poll that you answer above, I'll decide whether or not we should do any topping or trimming whatsoever. That being said, I've already prepared some soil for them. As you know, citrus trees are pretty finicky. They like a well-draining but moisture-retaining soil. So this right here is about 50%, uh, maybe 60% peat moss. There's some perlite and sand as well as some of my homemade compost. So this should allow for them to retain some moisture, but also it'll allow for the, the, the excess moisture to drain out. Because citrus does like to have access to moisture at all times, but not be saturated or its roots saturated in the soil. They are tropical plants. They're used to being in the rainforest. They're used to having heavy rains and dry out a little bit before they get their next watering. So I'm pretty excited to get that in there. Obviously, if you have access to getting some citrus tree soil, that's probably the best, but generally it's made up of, of sand or perlite and then peat moss and some compost, which I've added in here as well. All right, these pots are kind of small. They've already got some sand and rocks in them already. I'm just gonna be adding the existing mix to this new mix. And I've chosen to put my remaining lemon tree in a different container so that I don't forget which one is the lemon tree. They look very similar. And then I have these black, almost two gallon pots for the remaining uh, orange trees. Let me go ahead right now, get these guys in these pots and then we'll spend a few more seconds looking at these trees up close. All right, so I've got the lemon tree in its new color-coded pot, if you will, and then the four orange trees are now in their almost two gallon, I think it's 1.94 gallon pots. So basically two gallon pots. This will be their home for the rest of this year and over winter. And I'll tell you, I should have took a couple of snapshots, but some of the roots were starting to spiral at the bottom of the other pots. 
So this is much overdue for me to get them repotted. Those were the pots that they've been in for the last full year and they were barely even, uh, what is it, a couple of quarts. So good to have them in these bigger pots now. The next step is gonna go ahead and get them all watered in so I can see if the soil level drops and if I need to top it off a little bit more garden soil, I'll just top it off. Let me get these soaked down, topped off, and we'll bring it back in. All right, so we've got all the pots completely saturated. I'm just letting them sit up here so they can continue to drain out. You can see that they're draining out from the bottom and I'll tell you, they drain out quickly and what's good about it is you can see how spongy this material is. So I also hosed off the leaves just to free of any bugs or debris, spider webs, things like that. So, lemon tree, here it is. Again, the question is, should I do a little pruning? Maybe top some of this overhang off? You can see though, the newer ends look a little better, but they just haven't grown any since they, since we had that hard freeze in late February, early March, they just stopped growing a few of them on the, on the ends. But we are getting some new growth on some of the other ones. So I'm kind of at a loss here. You guys will have to let me know. We've even got nature helping us out drinking some water. Well, there you have it, everyone. 23 month update on my citrus series, both my lemon tree that I only have one left of, and then my orange trees that I have four left of. They're almost at two years old. Again, they've been stunted. This is not the, the best zone for them. I didn't bring them indoors. I brought them in my indoor greenhouse, but you know what? They survived the cold winter in my greenhouse. So that's a good sign. Maybe because they were grown from seeds and they were grown from hybrid seeds, possibly we might have a hybrid uh, species here that might be able to withstand some of the outside temperatures. And that reminds me, before I sign off, let me show you something else in my garden really quick. So I thought I should show you this. I planted a couple of orange and lemon seeds out here last year and they sprouted in late fall and the freeze hurt them, but it didn't kill them. So we have two here and then we also have one here, one there and one there. These three are lemon seeds and the other two are orange seeds and again, the freeze really hurt a couple of them. This guy actually died from the freeze, but he already re-sprouted a new set of growth. So again, maybe growing from seeds, maybe I have a species that might be able to withstand my freezing temperatures out here sometimes, and if that's the case, that'll be a good sign. Oh yeah, and if you watched my garden videos last year, this was that volunteer, either raspberry or blackberry bush that is going bonkers and we're just now starting to get some flowers on it. We'll see what it is when it gets all grown up. I've, oh, I say all grown up. We'll see what it is when it gets some flowers. It did get one flower and I'm thinking it's a blackberry, but we'll have to see. So there you have it everyone. That's my citrus trees grown from seed update, both the remaining lemon and the other four orange trees that I've grown that are now 23 months old. Couple of questions for you, one, should I go ahead and top them and remove any of the bud ends that don't seem to be doing much or should I give it more time and wait till the next update to do so? You let me know in the comments down below and hopefully you're still okay with being patient with me as I get you caught up on all my Grown From Seed series. And if you are, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always everyone, happy gardening and thanks for watching.